Buildings starting to crack under the weight of as much as six feet of snow. Governor Kathy Hochul visited a bowling alley in Hamburg near Buffalo that collapsed earlier today. Roads virtually impassable tonight. Check out this long line of semi trucks stranded in the snow here. At least 70 National Guard members trying to clear those roads to help people out there. Look at these images. These are the conditions that drivers are, are facing here. Look at that, a literal wall of snow barreling toward Buffalo, the city skyline disappearing behind it, and they could face scenes like this one once again tonight. So far, the bullseye of the storm just south of Buffalo, Orchard Park buried at least 77 in, in at least 77 inches of snow. Hamburg, more than 73 inches. News 4's Adam Harding traveled to both towns today. He is safely back in Buffalo tonight. Adam, what, what have you seen? Well, Kim, I got to tell you, I've never seen anything like this. Uh, we woke up today to about another foot of snow here in Buffalo. This is a whole lot of snow. When you travel about 10 miles south, it is virtually impossible to wrap your head around just how much snow they have seen over Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and they are not out of it yet. Traffic turmoil, the monster storm crippling western New York, trucks stranded some for up to 24 hours. The winter wallop relentless. We got stuck here because the I-90 got closed. That was like 10 trucks stuck here. Then we blasted the heat. Uh, I bummed some food from a friend of mine. I didn't have any food or water at the time. So uh, it's, it's rough, man, you know. The jaw-dropping snow totals continuing to climb. In Hamburg, they're dealing with nearly six feet. Uh, we've got people driving around, and they're getting stuck and making roads impassable for us. The fire chief warning drivers to stay off the roads. Uh, Apparently nobody heeded the warnings, and they continue to try and drive and get through things. Uh, the town highway departments, the county highway departments, the state, they're doing their best to keep the roads open, but it's tough with the snowfall that we've had. It's pretty much inundated us. Today, Governor Hochul touring the damage. So it's been my family close to 100 years. Including Howard Bray Miller's family-owned small business, this bowling alley torn apart. I put my whole life in this business and, uh, uh, you know, in the center of the village here, and I met so many people, and it's... Uh, it's just pretty, it's heartbreaking, you know, because all my family history and everything. Overnight, more severe weather. This cell phone video showing the lake effect storm, a clear divide with conditions improving just beyond this massive wall. They took us to a shelter. The storm proving too strong for Rusty D'Angelo. It's just uh, a lot of snow. And I've got a Honda Accord which sits low and it didn't like a lot of snow. And I'll tell you, Kim, a lot of cars who that are a lot bigger still having a hard time navigating through all of that snow. It's just so hard to understand six feet of snow until you are in it yourself. I have to give a tip of the cap to our photojournalist, Eddie Alonzo. He drove us the 10 miles from Buffalo down to Hamburg Orchard Park. Normally, it should only take a couple of minutes, 10, 15 minute drive. It took us several hours to get back here to the city. And as you mentioned tonight, the storm is not over. This lake effect system is hovering over us. Another round of winter weather expected. Hopefully this time tomorrow, it will be over. For now, we're live in Buffalo. I'm Adam Harding, News 4 New York. Tip of the cap to both of you, Adam. Glad that you are safe. The pictures from Buffalo, truly incredible. This time lapse shows one of those lake effects snow bands rolling off Lake Erie here. And let's bring in Storm Team 4's Matt Brickman. You're tracking more bands of snow. As Adam said, this is far from over. Yeah, he mentioned hovering that snowstorm just north of Buffalo right now and about to move back south. There are two heavy bands we're watching. You can see this one just north of Buffalo and the other one in upstate New York. This will all start to move south later on tonight and produce another four, six, eight inches of snow by by tomorrow morning. The heaviest tolls have been south of Buffalo so far, but we've also seen some eye popping numbers in upstate New York. Keep an eye on Oswego too over the next couple of days. They could add another foot and a half to two feet of snow as this could continue there until Monday, maybe even Tuesday morning. Here's the list. Orchard Park, we mentioned 77 inches there. Hamburg close behind, but there's over six feet of snow up by Watertown. That's Natural Bridge, New York. Watertown itself with 57 inches and Buffalo proper with over 31 inches of snow. For us, it's 
It's the cold and it is about to get colder these next couple of mornings. Bitter temperatures. We'll talk more about that and when we can see a warm up in just a bit. Come on. Okay, Matt, thank you.